All right, so this is the first video of many of this channel, at least that I hope. Today we will be reviewing this multi-tool right here. This multi-tool right here is going to be the gold standard. And when I say gold standard, I mean this is gonna this is the best tool out of every multi-tool that I've ever encountered. Maybe not tool wise, maybe not aesthetics wise, but overall quality and value, this is the gold standard. Any other video on this channel is going to be comparing to this multi-tool right here, unless I say otherwise. So, let's give it a look. So when you first look at it, it has a relatively small design, roughly about half the size of your hand. It ain't too big. It looks reasonably nice. There's a nice polish on it. It ain't bad at all. Let's see if we can get it in focus here. There we go. Everything is clearly labeled. Has a nice matte color to it, except for on these hinges right here. I like how those ones are polished right there. That's pretty nice. All right. So now that we got the basics down, this could easily fit in a pocket, your little front pocket that, I guess, where you'd keep your pocket knife. This would fit nicely in there. Now let's take a look at the pliers. So, it is a Gerber suspension tool, so it automatically goes back into shape. Real neat, real nice, ain't it? So, you can tell we have a regular pair of pliers right there. We have some wire cutters right here, which have been used, as you can tell. This is my favorite multi-tool. We have needle nose pliers, which do go to a pretty good pin. It fits relatively nicely. The tip of it has a very like closed point. The rest of this has a little bit of space into it. It's a it, pretty good, top tier in my opinion. Uh, the suspension aspect is really nice. A lot of multi-tools don't have this, a lot of them do. I know it's not too uncommon for them to have them, but it's just a nice aspect. So, it folds up neatly. It's relatively difficult to take apart, which I kind of like that aspect. Because if it falls out of your pocket, you don't want it to just flail about as a tool. So I like how it's kind of hard to close. So, obviously it's a decent pair of pliers. Now, I know that a lot of people are concerned about this when they first get multi-tools, is that uh, whenever you grip it, it's grip strength, if it's going to like collapse under its own, under your strength or something like that, I don't think these would, that would ever happen with these pliers. They have a little bit of give to them, but no matter how hard I do it, they always go back to shape. So, that gets a pass for me. Now let's take a look at the tools. So, the first tool we got here is a knife. No wait, a rope cutting knife. It is fairly sharp. This thing has stayed sharp ever since I got it. It is definitely hair shaving sharp. Maybe not for the rope. It's kind of hard to do that the rope, but there is definitely some. It is definitely hair shaving sharp. Very sharp knife. It does have every tool on this thing has auto. It has a auto lock, I guess we could say. Look at that, real neat, ain't it? We got a knife. We got a bottle opener, slash can opener, slash little pry. We got a flathead driver. That's pretty neat. 
then we got a pair of scissors. We also have this little doodad right here. I guess it's for tying around a loop around in case you want to, you know, have a loop. It's good stuff. I really do I like this aspect of it actually. If you needed to pull something, you could tie a rope around this and it locks in there and you just tug it. It's good stuff right there. So let's take a look at these scissors. A lot of people are really concerned about scissors because most of the time they're not really good, but I can assure you of the quality on these scissors. Definitely some of the better scissors I've used. Alright, let's take a look at the other side. So, on the other side, we got a regular knife, which is definitely hair shaving sharp. It's come sharp, it came out of the box sharp, and it is, it has stayed sharp ever since then. It's a good knife. On this side, we have a little bit less tools, but they are still, they still hold their functionality. We have a regular flathead. Not bad at all. Let's see here. We'll focus on that. There we go. So the flathead is obviously flat. It has a little bit of wear from it, from me using it. It's because it does its job relatively well. It's a good flathead. Now, I do have one criticism about this tool. It is the Phillips head screwdriver bit. It is absolutely god-awful. In no way would I ever pra practically use this. Hmm. This is my only, I guess, downside of this multi-tool is this Phillips head. But I have used it, and it does work to an extent. So it is not terrible. Last and not least, we have the chain tool or the saw tool. It is fairly well. It is sharp. It does its job. It's kind of short in comparison to the length of the multi-tool. I won't blame it for that, I guess. There we go. It's only about two inches, two inches long, which is not a lot of room to work with. But if you needed to cut a twig or something, or cut a stick, you could definitely do that. So, like I said, this multi-tool is the gold standard of multi-tools. It is the best multi-tool I know of, price-wise, tool-wise, yada yada. Anyways, that is the end of the video.